All right. In this video, I want to share with you a very smart strategy that you can use to optimize your Performax Max campaigns. So with Pmax, you know it's not, um, you know the the way that you see your data is not so clear. You don't know what's working with with shopping. You don't know what's working with search. You don't know what's working with display. You don't know what's working with YouTube, right? Google does not show you in very clear terms. However, there are some things that you can do to improve your campaign. And these are just tiny little hacks that you can put together just to basically improve your campaign, right? And we've done this multiple times and it works. Now, you know, with Pmax, there's a lot of channels fused in together. Shopping, search, display, YouTube, discover everything all in one place, right? But there are times when your data tells you that shopping performs better or that people buy more products on your website and discover your brand more from shopping, right? So one thing that you can do in order to find a way to spend more budget on shopping is to create feed-only Pmax campaigns. And I would explain what that means, as you can see right here, we have an asset group for that. And I'll explain that in just a second. So feed-only Pmax campaigns simply mean that you can create your Pmax campaign as you would on a normal day, but the only difference to this type of campaign or this type of Pmax campaign is that your all of your assets would not be there. So the only thing that you'd have inside of the asset group is just your product feed. So you would have no images, no logos, no videos, nothing really that would serve on the search camp on the search placements or on YouTube or any other placements aside from shopping. So once you make sure, make sure that your asset group only has your product feed in there, you can serve only on the shopping network, which means Facebook, uh, Google, sorry, <laughs> would only serve your ads on the shopping network. So all of your product price, your description, all of that will show on the shopping network and you'd have no ads at all going into search or YouTube or any of the other channels. So I'm going to show you quickly. So there are two ways to do this. One way is to create one Pmax campaign with one asset group that's feed only. Another way is to use your existing Pmax campaign, but create another asset group that has just your product feed. So with this particular campaign, actually, we have two asset groups that are active, actively running right now, but only one of them is feed only. So the other one is, you know, across all of the other placements. However, this one is just feed only, no creative assets. So I'll show you quickly how to do this. So all you need to do is come into your uh, Pmax campaign, scroll down to asset groups, click on the plus sign over here, click on new asset group, and then we're going to wait for it to load up. Okay, so just like you would on a normal day, you can just name this whatever you want, but in this case, I'll call it feed only. Pmax campaign. Okay. Call it anything you want and make sure that you have your merchant center accounts connected and you have your products connected. So all products like this. So make sure you have all your products selected as it is in your MCC. Right. And then on the um after that, just remove everything else. Like once you have your products feed showing up here remove everything else that you see here. So your final URL as Google would automatically put there, remove that, um, your logos, um, remove all of those as well. So like this, remove all that um, and click save. Your videos, remove all of that, your headlines, your everything, like remove the brand name, remove every single thing that's not um, shopping related. So images, videos, headlines, long um, descriptions, business name, whatever, just remove all of those and you would have just your product feature, you know. And then once you're done, you can hit save. If you like, you can put in an audience signal just to tell Google where to serve to, but sometimes you can also leave it broad and just allow Google serve however it wants to to different people within your 
um, different people within Google Ads, right? And you can just hit save once you're done. Just make sure that only your product feed is showing up here. Every other thing is blank. And you can just hit save on the asset group. Now, once you're done doing this, you would see it show up here as part of your asset groups. But in this case, I'm not going to actually turn this on, so I'd have to correct that. But yeah, that's how you would set this up. Feed only perfect maximize campaigns. I would like to hear if anybody's trying this out and how it's going for them. And I would really love to hear your comments about, about how it's performing. Um, and yeah, thank you. <laughs>